Hello everybody, welcome back to Auto Anorak and today we're talking about a YouTuber that I don't think I've actually talked about before on this channel. He likes a lot of the JDM stuff. He's the king of wide bodying and bagging cars and I've been watching him ever since he just had his BRZ or BRZ if you're from America. Of course it's TJ Hunt and potentially his craziest build ever, the Lamborghini Huracan. So let's get into it. Six of the craziest features on this unbelievable build. <laughs> First things first, the body kit. The body kit is like no other, and especially no other that we've ever seen for 1016 Industries. It isn't your normal bog standard 1016 kit. Uh, you might remember Vehicle Virgin, Sparker, yeah, we know him well by now. He had a 1016 kit on his Huracan. This is nothing like that. This is actually like a full body replacement, essentially. The only stock body panels left are the doors, and the roof of the car. Everything else gets changed completely with a whole host of gloss carbon fiber. I love the way that the side vents are kind of incorporated down the side of the car, like the stock ones. I love the huge carbon fiber wing and the front bumper on it, I think is unique to literally any car that 1016 have ever made. So the car at this current point in time is a complete one of one kit from 1016 Industries. Additionally, you will recognize some parts from other 1016 kits such as the beautiful front bonnet, but that's such a lovely piece of sculpture, they just had to keep it in. And also they've incorporated some Lamborghini styling elements, such as around the rear bumper. There's some little almost triangle shapes, and those are reminiscent of the Lamborghini Veneno. Next, we have the paint. The paint was a little bit controversial. Some people wanted him to do the midnight purple color that you used to get on the Nissan Skyline GTRs. I thought that that was such a cool idea. I really would have liked to have seen that even now after seeing this paint job, but you can't deny this is a stunning green. Reminiscent, of course, of his old GT3458. I think he missed that car a lot and wanted some of that green back in his life. However, the paint is slightly different. It's got a little bit of a blue tint or hue. I don't I don't know the exact technical term, but it's got a little bit of a blue tint to it. And additionally, when you go up close it does have a nice kind of metallic look. This is a stunning paint job and I feel it works really well with those champagne HRE wheels. Next is something that we wouldn't usually associate with the coolest features on a car. It's the tires on this Huracan. Now it's not the fact that they're ultra sticky, basically semi-slick R888R tires. That's a mouthful. It's actually their width and the fact that it's probably the most aggressive tire setup that's ever been seen on any Huracan. The rears are 325s. Now 325s in the supercar world, I'm sure some people are pretty familiar with but it's the fronts the fronts are 265 wheels now if you didn't know with all-wheel drive you have to have a sort of similar setup to what the factory wants from the car in the wheel specs I don't really know the technicalities of it myself but basically the front wheels and the rear wheels have to align in a certain way you can't just do whatever wheel specs you want uh, on either wheel or else you'll just completely blow up the diff and that's why to get these huge meaty rear tires you also need some huge meaty front tires so it's likely that they might actually have to bash in a little bit of the car's wheel well which yeah I'm sure some of you are kind of cringing at the thought of that but you know I mean they had to do it in the 458 and that turned out pretty 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 good I think so hopefully it's a similar story and the fourth cool feature on this car it's the twin turbo kit that's gonna be fitted to it of course it's being done by sheepy race sheepy race seemed to be the king of developing twin turbo kits for influencers of course they did Alex Choi's one they did DDE's ones um, I'm trying to think if there's any others but anyway for a twin turbo shop that's quite a lot having two already and of course uh, they did work with TJ on his C8 although I think that's been taken to Texas because they're not really specialists with C8s whereas the guys in Texas obviously are. I believe he's gonna have a standalone ECU kit in this it's not gonna be stage one it's like the slight stage above that and that means the car will be developing around 800 900 brake horsepower to the wheels and I know that doesn't sound ridiculous in the world of 2000 even nearly 3000 horsepower twin turbo Lambos but I mean you gotta understand this is still Bugatti Veyron levels of power in a car that has a dual clutch transmission. It's an apocalyptically powerful combination that will shoot this car well into the fastest cars on automotive YouTube. And it could be a good race against Stradman's twin turbo Aventador whenever that gets done. His twin turbo Garrida will be too slow, unfortunately. Anyway, power is one thing, but it's the sound out of these things that is the most incredible. Just take a listen to one of Shibi's twin turbo Lambos. <laughs> Oh, and I just 
just remembered another influencer that has a twin turbo Lambo from them. Tanner Fox, he's got that Liberty Walk one, which is actually the craziest, which is kind of funny because he's the least automotive oriented guy out of all these people. And arguably his car could even be crazier than TJ's. But TJ, you didn't hear that. Your car's amazing. And then the fifth point that we're going to talk about is linked in with the twin turbo kit. It's the exhaust system that will reside behind those twin turbos. This exhaust system is uh, undoubtedly going to be one of the most bonkers exhaust systems on automotive YouTube. I'm trying to think of one that's crazier. It's going to be a full titanium system. And more than that, it's likely to have seven exhaust tips. So it's going to have four beside each other. And then in the very middle, it's going to have three in like a weird triangle shape. It's going to be very difficult to do. Apparently, he's going to have to pay up, obviously, for that. It's likely to cost $12,000, which to me doesn't actually sound that bad for such an intricate exhaust system. I can't wait to see this. This build is just getting better and better as the weeks go on. And from the craziest part of the build to, well, not really the craziest, but one of the most surprisingly expensive parts, the cup holder in this car. Now, he bought this, I think it's an OEM part from Lamborghini, but it's a thousand dollars just for a little cup holder. And I mean, he, he was saying it was the most expensive cup holder in the world, to be honest. I reckon Ferrari will probably charge you like two and a half grand for a couple cup holders. But I did want to talk about it because the design is really cool. It does just blend into the dashboard and then you press it. And I love the seamless integration of it. It's such an American thing. Americans, they love their cup holders. They love having somewhere to drink even in a 1000 brake horsepower twin turbo Lamborghini. And that's it everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see any more TJ Hunt content because I love the channel, been following it for years as I said and I'd love to bring a lot more content on it for you guys. It's just that he doesn't always have supercars and you guys seem to love supercars beyond anything else which I can't blame you for. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see any more TJ content. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe.